We've had more than 1,000 yards in total offense. Houston, 575. Texas Tech, 451. And they need another four. Empty set on this thing here. Spread them out pretty good. Remember, Keenum can run. Quarterback draw. in 58 seconds. Are you kidding me? They will go for two. Keenum to the end zone, picked off. That means... Jamar Wall stops it. And Texas Tech can win the game with a field goal. But they have no timeouts, partner. No, partner, they don't. But go back to this Cougar offense and the decision that they made at the line of scrimmage down here. They spread them out. Three left, two right, empty set. The Tech defense, as you mentioned, was wide open. Keenum can run the football. He's done that a couple of times tonight effectively when they've gone empty set. But Tech's defense was so tired in that agile offensive line of the Cougars found their guys, matched up, touchdown. Now, remember the kickoff problems that Houston has had in this game. The last thing you want to do now is kick the ball out of bounds and give them the ball at the 40 yard line. Well, I know this. When you look at Texas Tech right now, you see up there at the top, no timeouts remaining, right? I know they'd like to have one in their pocket now. Like to have three in their pocket. Case Keenum. See something else? What a night. It's something he'll always remember. This could be far more important than the win at Oklahoma State. That put him on the map. This can keep him on the map. Stevens from the 11. To the 24. 44 seconds to go in the game. That's all Taylor Potts has. Devin Mays made the tackle. Matt Williams, the field goal kicker, does not have a booming leg. His career long is 41 yards. They would have to get to the 24 to give him a shot to do that. He's the kid that won the contest last year, coming out of the stands to win it at halftime, and becomes the team's kicker. Will he play a part? Screen pass to Jeffers. Clock is running. Oh, those take a lot of time, and you don't have it. No, and it's that, that's a call against the defense that's playing back, but not that far back. This one over the middle, finally caught. That'll stop the clock with 15 seconds to go out at the 46. Alex Torres and a courageous throw by Potts. And now they kill the clock, 14 seconds to go. So the screen pass cost you a lot of really precious just seconds. A lot of precious seconds. And this throw, whatever it does, has got to get a first down so the clock will stop for a second. You can't have it run, otherwise you will never get another play. Uh, and you know, you've got to get down the field enough at 15 yards plus, so there's nine seconds more or more. Yes, they need 30 yards just for a 41 yarder. Over the middle, and that will be a first.
first down. Will they have time to kill the clock? They will. Clock is at six. Well, friendly clock ticked to five. That should have been at six. I'm not sure it will make much of a difference. Well, a field goal is obviously not a possibility here. The only thing you can do is the Hail Mary. Not having a strong legged kicker really is a challenge right now for this tech offense. They don't have an option to get real far down the field. This is it. Do or die. There is a marker down in the backfield. May have been movement before the play. Legal formation on the offense. You know, that had the makings of a halfback pass, but I think the ball was thrown forward. Yeah, it, so they couldn't do it. Absolutely. They're trying to lateral pass. That was not going to be the way to get it done. Now, the guy that's on this football team who's got some ups, is Lyle Leon, his high school teammate, Taylor Potts, is he's at the far right side of your field down here. He's a seven foot one high jumper. So if you're gonna go Hail Mary, if Potts can get it to the end zone, you got a guy who can go up and get it. He's gotta run 50 yards first. This is it. are on the Houston Cougars. Kevin Sumlin in two years has never lost to a ranked team. He is 4-0. And they sure got their money's worth, didn't they, Craig James? They sure did. You know what? Kevin Sumlin managed his football team admirably. He didn't let them get too high. He had them prepared when they came in here on the opening drive of this football game. You knew his team was focused and ready. Well, they're coming out of the stands. There were more than 32,000 people on hand tonight. You may see all 32,000 of them on the field. <laughs> I don't think that the University of Houston minds. No, not a bit. <laughs> Let the people in the parking lot in. Heather Cox, good luck. <laughs> Coach, congratulations. Now, we were saying the Oklahoma State win puts you on the map. How does this win keep you on the map? Well, it's great in light of everything that was going on. Full house. See our students going crazy. Great for our alumni. Great for our program. Great for the city. Coach, you told me before the game that you had the talent to beat anybody on your schedule. You weren't sure about the maturity. What did your team teach you today? Well, you know, we hung in there. We didn't play as well as we could. Tech had a lot to do with that. You know, our guys kept fighting and, and uh, pulled it out at the end. Just keep playing. That's kind of our motto. And, and like I said, if, 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 if we do things, we overcame a bunch of penalties tonight. Flopped around a little bit, but, but we found some way to win the game. Coach, you've led the nation in scoring so far this season, yet it was your defense that stepped up. How impressed were you throughout the game, especially on that final drive? Well, it was kind of like last week. You know, we, we were reeling in the middle. Key fourth down, stopped down here, got the ball back. It's a team win. Anytime you win a game like that, it's a team win. Coach, congratulations. Enjoy this one for the program. All right, thanks a lot. Guys, right, back to you. What a remarkable night for that program. And, and consider this, with all the teams that lost this weekend, they came in number 17. They could move up very close to the top 10.